So what I wanted to get into now is some of the impacts that we're seeing from sea level rise right now. The first that I think of is nuisance flooding. And I think a lot of you jotted in your comments, I'm seeing more flooding here, our basements getting wet, things like that. Well, Portland's Commercial Street, which is built on fill, and East Bayside area, which is also built on fill, are very low-lying areas that have direct tidal connections to that cove, for instance, on the on East Bayside area. Um, and what we've been seeing historically in, in these low-lying areas is about four hours of flooding per year if we look at that whole data range from 1912 to 2020. Now, if we look at just the last 10 years, that's up to about 14 hours per year, okay? So just looking at that data, that's a pretty significant jump in the, the amount of hours that we're seeing some flooding. So what I asked myself was, if we just had one foot of sea level rise, how would these historic numbers change, okay? So we're not even taking into account future conditions or anything like that. We're basically going back and looking at any time flood stage was met or exceeded, and then we're adding one foot, so that drops flood stage a little bit. So we now can look at a lower water level and get a sense of how often that would have been exceeded. And the numbers are pretty staggering. It's between a 10 and 15 fold increase in the frequency of nuisance flooding. Okay, so if something's flooded for four hours a year, you can really plan around that. If it's flooded for 142 hours per year, it's a little bit harder to plan around and you start really thinking about the impact. Another thing that's really at risk are our low-lying roads, especially those that con connect islands and peninsular communities. And this is the Deer Isle Causeway. If you've ever traveled this, you know how low it is. There's about 20 miles right now of public and private roads that are at risk to high tide flooding. Um, we did an analysis and, and found that with that four feet of sea level rise, over 115 miles of road would potentially be at risk during higher tide. So again, you know, it's not that big a deal if, you, if you're living in an inland community with a, a couple small causeways, but if your causeway is what connects you to the mainland, that's a big deal. There are 10 wastewater treatment plants that are currently in the FEMA 100 year floodplain. There's a reason for that, um, you know, the stuff that treatment plants treat flows downhill um, and it's easier to have it flow downhill with gravity than it is to pump things. That's why we put them close to the water. But there are 10 at risk. With just a minimal amount of sea level rise, six of these would be permanently inundated by 2050 um, and cost between 30 and $90 million to replace. And they, these things are the backbone of coastal communities. Without your wastewater treatment plants, um, things go downhill pretty quickly. 